Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Anthony Miles and Walter Brown. This very beautiful chess game was played in Switzerland in 1982. This is actually a game from the Chess Olympiad played in Switzerland in 1982. Anthony Miles had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Walter Brown played c5, inviting the Sicilian defense. Why to move? Anthony Miles played c4, going for the English opening. Natural choice. You would not expect English player to play French defense with white pieces, would you? Knight to f6. Knight to c3. e6. e3. Knight to c6. d4. d5. The game transposed to the queen's gambit. D takes on c5, bishop takes on c5, a3 intending b4, a6 intending bishop to a7 if b4 is played, b4, bishop to a7, bishop to b2, and Walter Brown castled king's side. Rook to c1, black to move. Should black play d takes on c4 or d4? Walter Brown played d4. Naturally, black wants to open up the game before white king reaches the safety of castling. Let's see if this will work. e takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. White to move. And to play a clever move. What clever move white can play in this position? What would you do if you had white pieces? Anthony Miles played c5, putting the black bishop on a7 out of the business. The threat is queen takes on d4. Knight takes on f3 check. Queen takes knight. Black to move. White did not castle, but black has no way to make something out of it. Bishop to d7 was played. b6 has a tiny downside, and that is Queen takes rook on a8. So we have bishop to d7 intending bishop to c6. Bishop to d3. Bishop to c6. Why to move? What is the best square for the queen? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Anthony Miles played the best move, a knight to e4. Bishop to e4 is not a good move. Then knight takes on e4, and after knight takes on e4, queen to d5, and black is better. One line goes like this. Knight to d6, queen to g5, queen to g3, queen takes queen, h takes on g3, bishop takes on g2. Black is slightly better. Back to our game. Knight to e4 was played. Knight takes on e4, bishop takes on e4. Queen to c7. If bishop takes on e4, queen takes on e4, white is only slightly better. Queen to c7. Anthony Miles castled king's side. Rook from a to d8. It is white to move and this is the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you find this awesome bishop sacrifice? Bishop takes on h7 check. King takes bishop. Queen to h5 check. King to g8. White to move. What did Miles have in mind when he sacrificed the bishop? What is the follow-up? How would you continue? Please pause again and find the best move, white. Perhaps this is now easier than finding the first move. Or maybe it's not. Did you find queen to g5? If you did, no congratulations. After f6, black is better. Tony Miles played bishop takes on g7. Kaboom. Second piece sacrifice. If you think that you have seen this before on my channel, you are not wrong. 
I showed you a game between Emmanuel Laska and Johann Bauer when Laska sacrificed two bishops for the attack. That game was played in Amsterdam in 1889. The game continued. King takes bishop, what else? Queen to g5 check. King to h8. White to move. How would you finish this game? What would you do? Please, pause again and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find rook to c4? If you did, no, congratulations. This is not winning. Then black plays f6 and after check, queen to h7. After rook takes queen, king takes rook. Black has a rook and two bishops for the queen. That's too much compensation. White may not be winning. Back to our game. So what is the best move then? The best move is queen to f6, preventing f6. King to g8. White played the move and black resigned. And the move is rook to c4. He is winning now. Black resigned. Or oh, should I say brown resigned. If some random move, rook to h4, another random move, rook to h8, check, mate. So, Walter Brown cleverly avoided checkmate by resigning in this position. What do you think of this awesome game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.